Hello lovelies, my name is Amanda, also known as Mrs. Archiver, and in this episode we will be planning in my planner for the week of the 13th through the 19th of June. I also talk about my life and just how I'm using my planner and everything else in between. So if you like to hear about someone's life while they plan, then keep watching. Wow, can you believe? Yes, another video. I'm being so consistent with these videos. I'm like not wanting to jinx myself, but it's going good. I'm, I'm really happy and thank you for coming back if you're subscribed. Welcome if you're new. I will be planning, this time I remember, my B6, uh, the weekly in my B6, my Hobonichi weeks, and I'm just going to kind of let you know what I've been doing in my A5 as far as planning and goals. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into that. So let's go ahead and start with the A5 and what I've been doing with that. Now there is a planner called Passion Planner and what I do is I reference that Passion Planner as far as their map goes. I forgot if it's called a mind map or a wish list or what exactly they call it, but this is what they do. Um, you do an exercise of what that date is and then you do lifetime, three years, three months, and one year. I've done this before in the past. It's worked really well. Sometimes it takes years for you to be able to complete the stuff. Sometimes you keep moving stuff along, but what's really nice is when you really get to check off a lot of the things that you have listed. And I realized that I have not done that in a while and I wanted to do that. So that is what I'm using my A5 for. I haven't, I haven't planned in it as like a daily, but if you want to do this type of exercise, it's pretty simple. You're going to just do a box like this that says wish list and the date. You're going to go ahead and draw some lines and you're going to do lifetime, three years, one year, and three months. So three years from that day that you first initially start this and then the three months from this date, one year from this date, and then of course there's a lifetime. All you do is you just pretend this is a magical piece of paper and you write down the things that you would like to do in the future. So that way you can have kind of a map or you know a destination of what you want to work toward. So the one that I'm actually working toward right now is going to be a more restful sleep. So the next thing that I do is they have what's called a game changer. So your game changer is going to be what you select that will best benefit you of where you are now. So for me, a more restful sleep would definitely be more important. So that's going to be my game changer. Then from there, for me, I like to put why. If I don't have a why, then I kind of get lost. Then I branch out as far as, okay, I know I need a, in order for me to have a restful sleep, I have a bedtime routine. Then I think of every single little thing that would help with that bedtime routine. Then I get a piece of paper, have my ideal bedtime list, uh, like if it was in a perfect world, believe me, it's not right now because of the time I'm filming, <laughs> but this is my ideal bedtime. And then I ask myself, how can I put this in my day to day routine in order for me to be able to do this? And I put that I would need to put a sticky note, maybe in my Hobonichi weeks in my mirror in the bathroom. So that way it can remind me of the steps. Then this is the steps that I would need to take in order to have this. I know that it seems like, whoa, that was a lot of information. Feel free to pause, rewind, listen to that again. I know that it seems like a lot of work, but let me tell you, for the things that you really want to achieve, it's gonna take some work. It's not gonna be easy. And this is something that I really wanna do and that I wanna to work toward. So that is what I'm focusing on as far as my, my A5 goes. And on here, if you follow me on my Instagram, if not, you can go to Instagram and then look for Mrs. Archiver. And I did like a really quick little like real video. And 
what I do is I just wrote the date and then I listed everything that I wanted to do and then I focused on three. And after I was done with those three, then I go to the next three. And then I keep going and going with that. And actually, I can check these off because I did work on my mind map and I did do my finance tracker and I did pack some orders so I can cross that off and cross this off. So tomorrow I will end up just putting the date, the day and the month and just keep listing that way. I have to list things and break things down for my brain to comprehend <laughs> because if not, it won't happen. I have to write it down. I, I just, I have to or else I won't. So that's what's going on in my A5. Now you guys, as far as the Hobonichi Weeks, you guys voted for what you wanted this week's theme to be. I try to make things fun. So if you haven't, check out the community tab that is on my YouTube channel. And lately on there, I've been posting polls of what you guys would like to see. Y'all voted for Zodiac. So I have this little sticker book of all different kinds and it does have some zodiac signs in here. Just kind of doing a quick little flip through. And I also um, went through my stash and I found some washi. So these washi will go with this. That will look really cute. But you know, you know, I, well, if you don't, you're, never, you're gonna know now. I always plan in this last because it tends to take the longest. So what we're gonna start with first is my B6 because apparently last time, I forgot my B6. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Take these out and let me go to my page. A nice clean page here. There we go. I also found this in my stash and I was like, oh, look at that. Why don't you want to lay flat? I don't know why it doesn't want to lay flat. Do I have any more weekly in here? I don't think I do. How are y'all doing? By the way, if, oh, look, I still have some. So I will use that now that we have everything together my hair is in the way. Speaking of hair, dude, I always like share stuff on my Instagram. So you really got to go follow my Instagram if you kind of want to know. But just briefly, I got my nails did. Well, I did my own nails. I did these gel X, like gel glue bonding, full stiletto nails. I've been stabbing everything. But I mean, they do have some little imperfections, but you know what, for the first time me doing it, I don't think it came out too bad. I have to admit, it has been very, very easy to stab things, including myself, apparently. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, back to my hair. Sorry, I get like so sidetracked. Back to my hair. I found out, because I knew I had wavy hair, I knew I did, but I couldn't figure out the technique for me to do for my wavy hair because the curly hair method did not work for me. I tried and like the product was too heavy or I would try to use rollers and they, the curl was too tight. Then I would do heat rollers and then with the heat rollers, you know, you gotta roll them and then wait for them to cool. And it's been like this battle. So one day I'm just cruising along on YouTube, right? And up pops this girl for wavy hair. 
curl pattern. I think it was 2A, 2B or something like that. And I was like, what? Followed it. And then my life has now changed because this is actually my, my natural wave. Who knew? And then there was like a curl right here. I'm just so like, wow, there's like this curl. I was amazed. I was so amazed. I still have to deal with this frizziness up here. I do have to get a gel after all because I didn't use a gel and I didn't think that I would have to use the gel. Apparently I have to use a gel. <laughs> but I was so happy with that. I was like, oh my gosh. I was just really, really happy. It's taken me years, like years. And that's considering I did go to school for cosmetology. But when you go to school for cosmetology, here's the thing. They teach you all the basics that you need to know in order to pass state board. And sometimes they do have speaker, well, the school that I attended did have speakers and people that would come in and you know other brands and such, but you're not gonna learn everything, everything you possibly need to know. So, you know, I would take classes and stuff and a lot of them were for a more, a more curl pattern that was a uh, coil, coil kinky hair very curly hair and i'm like i don't have that i know i have a wave anyway a long story short i mean hey you're never too old to learn new things always have an open mind because there's always going to be new techniques that are going to be popping up that you're going to be like what seriously 13th through the 19th. I have to say it out loud so that way I know. I know they're square. I know that I don't have any circles. If somebody wants to provide me with circle ones, I could make some. There's so many things that I know I can make. It's me focusing on one of the things to make. Like I know how to make stickers. I have, a, I have a Cricut machine. Yeah. I have to like really focus. But there's like so many things that I want to do. So many things I want to do. And, and then when it comes to like actually doing it, then my motivation just goes out the window. Excuse me. I'm like, what is up with that? And then I get the motivation again. It's already late in the day. I think I really am just more of a night person. I've always been more of a night person uh, ever since I was younger. That looks so cute. Yay. So we have that. Hobonichi Weeks. Let's get started with the Hobonichi Weeks now. Again, you guys voted. So let's talk astrology. I don't know much of it. <laughs> People are like, what's your rising sign? What's your, and I'm like, I don't know. So I actually did look it up. Do I remember right now? No. And I'm recording on two different phones right now. So I even, I can't look on that one either. Let me recap of what has been going on here and then we'll get into the theme. Bear with me. I know I'm all over the place right now, but let's review because I don't think I reviewed in the last episode. I really should watch my last episode, but when you're the one that's doing the recording and editing, I hear my voice over and over and over again. <laughs> that like, by the time I was like, okay, I, I wanna make a new video. Okay, so on this one, if you remember us decorating for this one, it wasn't last week, but the week before. It turned out really well. I kept on my tracker. So now I'm being more aware of I need to drink more water. So after seven days, I was just kind of like, okay, now I don't think I need a tracker. I need, now I'm like, okay. And, and on the roll of, I need to drink more water. So that went really well. I ended up going to a coffee shop and that's where I did the map. We also released a new video on that on the first and yeah this turned out really well i really like this layout the finance tracker really it kept me in line i did do a little review on myself and i was like ouch because 
I know I can do better. I can do better. I checked stuff off. I did mail that. Why didn't I put it? I did mail. I did mail that off. Oh, you gonna work for me? There we go. Uh, this type of sticker, uh, you have to use a permanent marker. I can't use this pen because it smears everywhere. See how it's still smearing? I even let it dry, but I already wrote down that number anyway. As far as the month goes, how I'm going with my month, I have a key and I have these little bitty symbols. So I can see at a glance, like the hearts, like, oh, okay, that was a good moment. Okay, an arrow, that was business. Okay, um, you know, and then the little dot, okay, that was an event. So, you know, as far as, you know, a bill due. And then on here, because it does say like the week right here for like this week, what I'm going to use that for, because I was like, what do I use it for? For what I'm going to do is add a glance real quick of what I spent in my expenses, how many videos I uploaded, and then how many items that I sold for that week. So that way I can just see at a glance. I, I think that will work out really well. So I'm starting with that. Oh, apparently that just wanted to not be there. Okay, going to this current week that we're on. Going well, I have my bedtime routine. I'm incorporating what my mind map was that I showed you in the A5 into my Hobonichi weeks. So I put the little routine there and what I'm gonna do is just kind of do a little squiggle over the date so I know that it was completed or that I did at least part of it. So then I have my top three going on there. I have just kind of what's gone on this week because I'm filming today, which is Wednesday. And see, you see how I have the little icons that are real quick. And that way I know, oh, okay, that was memory. The exclamation mark is one that I need to add. The exclamation mark will mean that it was something that was like, oh my gosh, like this happened. So that's when I learned a new hair routine. So I was like, oh, that deserves an exclamation mark. Um, let me just put that in here. So a little exclamation mark. And let me just put, I don't know what word to put yet, but I do want to put that on the key at least. So I'll write that later just put this here okay now what I'm using I do have something in the back that I am using so in the notes I am gonna have my monthly reflection so that also goes back to passion planner every month it has a re monthly reflection that you can go back to the previous like go to the that month or the previous month to see how you're spending your time and just kind of keep yourself accountable out of that, there was like three major things that I wanted to do monthly reflection on. So one was, what was the best moments? So I wanted to write that. Uh, review the planner. Are you happy with how you spent your time? So I put that. And then three things to improve on, your, on the new month. And then I put that. So what I'm going to be doing is each month I will just have one page of just like a little bit of a reflection because I have quite a bit of pages. So I want to have something that will be useful to me either on the go or just, you know, something that I can reference real quick. Going to back to this week. So yeah, I like how it's going so far. I'm going to keep up with that. It is crazy with the weather of how it's going to be getting this week of like 108 does not make me want to go anywhere to tell you the truth but that's how that's going and so now oh the other thing that i ended up doing too is the phases of the moon so realizing where i live i live in texas if you couldn't guess by me saying y'all a lot <laughs> the moon phases are not off too much from japan's in Japan, it's like maybe one day off or on the day. So this month it fell like on the date, which was great. But in like July, if we go to July, it's like one day off. Yeah, see this one is supposedly like the new moon. And of where I live, this is actually the new moon. 
So I just put new and then I also put third quarter full. So I can kind of keep track of the moon phases that way. I want to utilize this again as much as possible. And then I did put a little of a, an appointment that I do have going on that day. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the planning section. I like want to put all these on, like everywhere, but <laughs> I'm going to have to end up moving them around. Okay, let's see. As far as, because I want to add this one too. As far as what I was thinking, because man, I was like looking up all kinds of stuff as far as like Zodiac and everything. I was like, man, you can just go in different directions. Because it was like, okay, if I go too much with the moon, then it's going to be more moon phase. It's not really zodiac. So I was like, okay. And then, of course, like some of the stuff I found were, were crystals and stuff too. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to do zodiac. I know I wanted to put this one at the bottom. So let's do that. But how is life? How is how is it going? Is this upside down? That does look like it's upside down, doesn't it? Let's put this here. But yeah, how is life? How you doing? Things are going good over here. The honeybee shop ended up posting that their pre-releases are already starting to get shipped out. So I did a pre-release on a Hobonichi A5 cover. And while I don't have a Hobonichi cousin that's an A5, I do have an A5 book. And I don't have a black cover. And I thought I got pink. I didn't get the pink one. I got the black one. I have a lot of the accessories from, not a lot, lot, but I have, I have a few accessories. I'm gonna do some layering here. And you're like, why are you covering this up? But I want more Zodiac. And I like the stars in the background. Wow, it really covered up the planets. <laughs> I was like, okay, I don't know. Just do the top. I'll just do the top. Because <laughs> I'm like... I was like, I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> I was like, that just covered up like everything. So let me just do this. So I'm getting a new cover soon. I love my Galen leather. I love my Galen leather cover, but I also want to switch out, you know? I wanna be able to switch things up. By the way, if you are curious what my sign is, I'm an Aquarius. I'm in the cusp of an Aquarius and Pisces. And I did, I went on this app called CoStar. Oh, that look cute there. On this app called CoStar and it said that I was a Pisces. And I was like, no, I've actually, ouch. Something hurt. Um, I've actually looked into both signs and I do have some traits of a Pisces, but I am definitely an Aquarius. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's, there's no doubt, <laughs> doubt about that. I am an Aquarius. 
can line that up. There we go. Yeah. I am an Aquarius. So the, even with the time that I was like trying to do the time, see back in my day, I don't know if anybody remembers this or if it's like a Mandela effect kind of thing. There was a time that people were like, oh, people that were in a cusp and they were like Aquarius or now Pisces and you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. And then I had, I had gone and try to find out like what time I was born. There was, oh, here it is. See, I have this that has like all the, all the signs. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. But I do want to put some of these constellations. I don't know what constellations are what. <laughs> I don't know who's who or what, but I do want to put this put this in because I think it'd be cool. Let's put to a moon. Some stars. I want to do something on this side. Let's put Dreamer here. There's a little moon here. 13 is actually my lucky number, so I'm going to put him in there. My husband is also in a cusp of Gemini Taurus, but he identifies more with a Gemini. I'm like, why? No offense to Geminis. Geminis can be awesome, but they can be scary. <laughs> because Aquarius people can like take charge if they need to, but we're really sensitive. <laughs> so let's put, let's put, and you know how they would do like, you would put your name, love someone else. I'm gonna put Aquarius and Gemini. <laughs> These nails, man. I've had long coffin. Well, you know, my last nails were coffin. But dang, these, these stilettos are no joke could seriously hurt someone. I don't know what co constellation this one was, but... Oh, yay! I thought it was going to cover it, so I'm going to put Aquarius and Gemini. Let's put a little shooting star somewhere. Put it here. What's your sign? Ah, I think this is the one that I'll put. What's your sign? There we go. And that's all I'm going to put on there for now. I'm, again, I always say this about my own spreads, but I'm happy how I came out. Uh, anything else I need to touch on? Oh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of future videos. Anything else that I need to announce or anything? Not really. That's going to do it for this video. Keep a lookout in the community tab though, because I just may put another poll if I can't decide what theme to do next. But thank you so much for your voting and I hope that you like this and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day.